Hello guys, welcome to Baizu's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all the computer exams. So today I wanted to give you a small trick regarding how to identify the prime implicates. So very easily. So just uh, please uh, observe carefully this example with the help of example I will tell you. And uh, this is about my brief profile. Just have a look at my profile. And uh, myself Morali Krishna Bakasamudram. I am having 21 plus years of teaching experience and have a uh, look uh, at a glance uh, this uh, is my profile okay now uh, so there is a uh, gate rankers monsoon program you can just have a look at and uh, you can register for this and there is a interactive workshop on 2nd july at 12 noon you can also uh, just join for this uh, to understand seven months enough to get uh, all india rank under 100 okay so now let's see how we can identify a prime implicant so uh, simple tricks i will give you with the help of examples so basically Prime implicants uh, just by using if uh, any uh, equation of uh, the Boolean function is given by means of uh, some uh, notations, okay, sigma notation or pi notation, first convert into this map. So, four variable map or three variable map depends on the uh, number of variables here. So, it is a four variable map here. Usually, you just do how you are doing the minimization. So, you can uh, map these two ones and these two ones and these two ones. This is what we do for minimization actually. Okay, and uh, in addition to that, some more uh, implicants we can have, those are prime implicants, and these two are adjacent ones, and both ones are present in different pairs, not in the same pair. So that's why we can uh, map all possible adjacent ones, and these two are also adjacent. So total, one, two, three, four, five prime implicants. So the number of uh, prime implicants is equal to five. And essential prime implicants, uh, we have to find out the number of distinguished ones. So this is a distinguished one. Distinguished one means, the one present in only one prime implicant, not multiple prime implicants. For example, this one is present in this prime implicant and also this prime implicant. So that is not a distinguished one. A prime implicant that contains one or more distinguished ones, minimum one distinguished one, it is a essential prime implicant. So there are two essential prime implicants. Okay, so very simple just by using the K-map. And one more example I will tell you. So if you wanted to find out uh, the prime implicants here, so you can uh, plot as if you are plotting uh, these things, uh, these are uh, top two and bottom two and four corner ones also comes under one quad, four corner ones we can plot and also you can plot any of uh, the four ones possible but the, there are uh, no four ones contiguous. So this is and this one. So to two quads and two pairs as of now and all adjacent possibilities you have to find out now. So this is one prime implicant, this is one prime implicant, this is also one prime implicant. Hope everybody understood. And uh, so there are uh, two quads and how many pairs? Number of pairs are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So total 7 prime implicants here. So like that we can find out and distinguished ones also we can mention. There are uh, two distinguished ones and two essential prime implicants here. So number of prime implicants are 7 and the number of essential prime implicants are 2 here. And one more example. So this is how we can uh, find out the prime implicants. Okay, so generally in a minimal sum of products form, all the essential prime implicants are present. Okay, but not necessarily all the prime implicants. Okay, so sum of all essential prime implicants definitely will present. In addition to that, some more prime implicants also can be there. And uh, that is how we can uh, find out the prime implicants and essential prime implicants. Thanks a lot and please do subscribe the channel and uh, please share with your friends. Thank you so much. See you all. Bye-bye.